Um, hi, good morning, sisters. It's um, such a privilege and honor for me to be here today again and share with you uh, a container, this space. But, um, invite my very dear friend and sister, Erica, to share a little bit about her story and what it is that she's offering here in the world. So before I start our call and before we um, go into anything, I would just like for us to take a moment to place our left hand on our heart space and our right hand on our womb and I invite you just to take a few deep breaths, breathing into your heart and then sending love and gratitude to your womb. And just allow yourself to be open to receive all of the juicy info and shares that we will be giving you today. Sending love and gratitude to your sisters who's here and sending love and gratitude to your mother and all of the women that has come before us and all of God. And um, so I just want to introduce myself. My name is Tish, for those of you who are new on the group. I'm a holistic healing practitioner, a retreat leader, and a yoga teacher. Um, I myself have been struggling with my menstrual cyclical nature for many years. And my intention with this group is really to open the conversation and to share information for women who feels lost, women who are perhaps on um, the pill or has the IUD and don't really know what's happening within their body, who wants to learn a little bit more of the cyclical nature. And what does that mean? It means that we as women move through four phases every month. And my intention is to weave everything that can facilitate you in this process from zero waste, zero waste menstruation and to get off the birth control. So today we have Erica online. Erica, welcome. It's so good to have you, sister. I would love for you to introduce yourself to everybody. Yeah, good. Hi, everybody. Um, so yeah, my name is Erica, and uh, I'm really happy to be here this with you. And thank you for the work you're doing. Uh, I think it's very important right now to have this kind of uh, information to be shared because um, I see a lot of women are being uh, lost sometimes with all the information around that. So first of all, thank you for doing that. Um, so my name is Erica and I am uh, from Canada. I live part-time in Mexico and part-time in Canada. And I started a project with my partner since two years and we designed uh, menstrual underwear. So um, this project is part of my life mission that has to do a bit with um, what Tish you're sharing. So I guess um, that's why for all of these reasons, I'm here and happy to be here. Ah, uh, well, let's let's go straight into talking a little bit, you know, about the, the topics that we were gonna discuss. And let's start off by talking about what is your main... Can you repeat the question? It, it... It's uh, <laughs> what is zero waste menstruation? Yeah, so for me, um, zero waste menstruation, I came across zero waste, um, the movement as a movement like a couple of years ago, and as a good friend of mine started um, working with that, and I thought it was the zero waste was the point where. Um, all of my values and my practices, what kind of makes sense around that. So for me, zero waste is not creating trash or, or consciously thinking about how you're going to consume and the sense of what will create less trash. <laughs> so this is basically what zero waste is. And when I came across that, there's so much practice, so much things you can do. Um, but the first thing that hit me was the menstruation. Because if you think about it, every woman for a very long period of her life will menstruate. And this is a reality we all have to, to deal with. And we all are creating trash around that with tampons, sanitary pads, and all of that. And when you look at it, it's plastic and it's matter that will stick for generations. So it's Clearly, there's, there's a need to, to, to go for other options. 
and the cup was not um the menstrual cup was not necessarily good for all the women and i've seen a lot of women like having hard time to deal with it i myself um had a hard time to deal with it so that's why it came, um i came across this idea to design this underwear with my partner and we started working with that so for me the zero waste menstruation i can resume it as how can we collect our menstrual blood and um, bring it back to the earth and without creating any trash on this planet, any plastic matter, anything. So that's, that's the zero waste menstruation. Mm. Beautiful. Yes. And, you know, living here in Costa Rica, um, the sanitary uh, disposal much different from anywhere else you actually put your trash in a bin you don't actually put the toilet paper down and I become consciously when I was still using tampons and pads and all these things here in Costa Rica because it would end um, I think if one can just start by consciously becoming aware like wow thing all of these things what can I do to even um, just use less and we'll go a little bit into how we can do that in the next question but let's talk a little bit about what is positive menstruation yeah. for you so for me the zero waste is not creating you know trash around menstruation and the positive aspect is not only not to create trash but to give back to them because as i think a lot of women now are aware uh in our menstrual blood there's a lot of uh like it, it's the best fertilizer for the earth. There's so many nutrients and so many good stuff in there that um, to be positive about it is to give the blood back to the earth. And um, with the cup, there is ways that can be done, but also with the undi, with, with an underwear, you can also do that very easily. And for me, there's if I go more in, in, in the energetic or spiritual aspect of it, because for, it has been very important for me in order to do that project, um, it's like breaking that cycle of giving life, which is our menstrual, you know, uh, blood and our what comes from our uterus. So giving this life back to life, back to earth, instead of trashing life in and bring it in down into a toilet or in in the trash bin or there's something completely and absolutely wrong in trashing up our menstrual blood like energetically spiritually call it whatever and this is this is exactly the message or whatever the breakthrough i had when before starting this it's like there's a cycle here that is wrong if, if I'm taking my menstrual blood in a tampons and using that much plastic and putting it in the trash and creating trash that will be there for four generations or more to come, then there's something wrong. I'm wasting something. And yeah. this is really what, what came to me. And the positive aspect is really to give back the blood to the earth and not only doing the action of, you know, taking my blood and give it to the earth, but adding a a thought adding a thought of gratitude so really synchronizing my action with an intention so basically mm. because that's the recipe for ritual an action and an intention is a ritual so yes the movement really i want to create with that madame lovahi the the undies we created behind the object or the actual produce the uh, product there's there's a prayer and there's a, an intention and the intention is positive menstruation is to come back into a cycle in which women can give back their blood to the earth with a thought of gratitude and with that i think we have a really really powerful um tool oh i really love that erica and i think you know if everybody who's listening today if if we can just come to a space of really starting to see our menstruation as something so positive and something so powerful already changing and healing this planet so if to first and foremost connect with that place of 
like it's not dirty and it's not ugly, that in itself uh, propel forward this pot is a gift and such an honor for us to have. And why are we giving this blood back to the earth? Because we are giving it as a ceremony, as a ritual to say thank you. Thank you for giving us this life. Thank you for giving us this earth. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit now about um, your menstrual underwear and how it has changed your life. You know, uh, the menstrual underwear, I want to know where the name came from, but maybe also share with us a little more, um, you know, how the project started and, and talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So this project actually came two years ago, uh, like I said, with my partner. And um, we were in the desert of Mexico and I was getting my period and I didn't have anything um, with me. And I was in the middle of the, of the desert because I was not expecting it. And my partner said, well, you know, if you want, I have undies in which she had cut a regular like towel, like bath towel, and she had sewed them into her underwear. And she said, well, I have that and this is what I'm using. So if you want, I can, you know, you can borrow it from me. <laughs> and since I didn't have anything and I was like, in need i was like okay yeah let's try that and i completely fell in love with that i was like this is the best feeling ever this is the best best thing and then i started being crazy about that so i came back in mexico in guadalajara and um i decided with her like i said okay so i want to um like i want to make that i want to make that for myself but let's find like a fabric that will be more, you know, smaller, thinner. So we started like that. And um, little by little, we were like, okay, I want some for my sister, for my, for my cousin, for my friends. So bit by bit, we started creating the project. And what originally was supposed to be creating 30 underwears, we realized that if we're going to buy this much fabric, then okay, we need that much. It was just a matter of calculation and we couldn't buy um, a small amount of fabric. We had to buy a big, big roll. So we're like, okay, that makes a lot of undies. So we started like that. And the first year was a blast. We came back in Canada and, and sold in different festival and event and women were stoked and so happy. So we decided to do a second production. Um, and bit by bit, that's how it happened. So I love to say that this project kind of happened on its own. And as soon as we, um, the name came and my partner came up with the name and um, Madame Lovahi. And uh, as soon as this entity was created, like this Madame Lovahi, it kind of feel like she was an entity taking care of her own self. And we were kind of like just helping so that it grows. but. Really, I feel I'm in service for something because this project is taking its own will, it feels like, its own freedom. And it's beautiful to watch because it's kind of, for me, I see it as an answer from spirit or from, call it the greater God or whatever. I just see it as an answer of I'm on the right path and I'm doing exactly what I should be doing because I'm being supported and this project is flying on its own. And, Yes, it's a lot of work. Yes, it's a lot of thinking, but it's <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Well, for those of you who are not um, really familiar with um, the product, basically it's these beautiful, um, what, is the, what is the material that you use, Erica? It's mostly cotton, and they're actually um, undies that are all in cotton, and there's inserts um, inside. Yeah inside the underwear that the woman can change so there's like you can actually stay dry and have three inserts that come with it so you can just put it on and change yes. it and we have a, a website i can put also after the yeah the but i just wanted to explain to them a little bit how this works so they actually sell a package of three which is really amazing because in your in your first few, few days especially for me i bleed a lot more in the second 
undies that you can wear for that specific times and you can wash them in between and wear them again. And it's um, for me a great way if I just want to free flow and bleed. And um, sometimes like even when I know I'm a couple of my sponge and I would still use the underwear just knowing that you know I don't have to worry about blood coming down my pants. So um, I really love that. And another feature that I love is in your little bag you have like a little space to even put in your yoga yoni egg which i found yoni egg everywhere so really love that we will definitely put the links for all of this later on but um i wanted the next question and say like how did you decide to change other people's lives with this work that you do erica mm -hmm. well basically because it's i'm totally like i said in service for this project because it truly had changed my life and this is something I know like deeply in myself, like nobody can know that as much as I know that. <laughs> so because my life has been changed by something as easy as menstrual underwears, like because it has changed that whole cycle and that, that whole understanding of my blood and my cycle. So for me, it was easy to take on that project and feel that I'm making something good for other women. So I'm changing also other women's life. And I have so much beautiful testimonials from women that are using our underwear. And um, the connection with the women is like straight straight to truth. And um, it's beautiful what we share with women because it, it's something we all lead. We all have the same realities. We all have the same challenge. So when I meet a woman and she's asking about the undies, we quickly go deep and we quickly are um talking true like just okay so for me you know i'm bleeding like this and sometimes i have uh this happening and and the connections are wonderful so for me it's really what gives me the the gas the gasolina, like the, the juice <laughs> to continue um to do this oh, yeah. and do the do the, the work that is sometimes less fun you know accountability and and you know all what a business needs have to, to be a business. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the next question we'll have is how did you link your personal growth, link your personal growth to your business? Um, so, yes, this is pretty much a continuation. Um, yeah. Yes. So, I think. As human beings, we all have like um, callings and things we, we like are inspired to do. And um, then we have that. And then we have kind of what we need to do in order to, to, to have money and just, you know, like eat and have a shelter. And, and most of my life, I felt like these two ways were. Are you there? Yes. Erica, are you there? Yes, I am here. Can you hear me now? So I'm not quite sure if online, if anybody can just kind of like give me a little thumbs up or tell me if you can still hear us or see us, just because my screen with her is frozen, so I have no idea. But. Um, we are waiting for her to come back on. Um, I would also just like to share with you. I'm so excited. I um, created this beautiful new ebook that is all about yoni steam and doing yoni steams at home. It also talks a lot about all of the different herbs that you can use. And I myself have done a beautiful yoni steam this morning, um, just before my menstrual cycle, which is a really good time. And uh, if you would like to receive that, um, you can just sign up for my love notes. I'll post the link in the thread and you can uh, receive the free ebook. So if she is still there. I'm here. I don't know if you can hear me. There? Hey. <laughs> okay. We had a little bit. 
bit of a technical, but anyway, so you were saying, just go ahead. Yeah, um, just to make a, sh a short story, um, in my life, I felt I had uh, two kind of paths. The one that was things that inspire me, that was close to my heart, close to my spiritual um, growth and personal growth and all of that. And I had another way, which was the more formal way, going to school and what am I going to do for a job, you know, for a living, to eat, uh, to have a shelter and all of that. And I feel that with this project of Madame Lovahi, I can, for the first time of my life, merge these two aspects and bring in all the spiritual knowledge and all the the personal growth tools that I that I have uh, collected around uh, along the way and um, yeah so I just feel like it can be like in one and um, I can really put my prayers into it and just a, a quick thing when when I when we received the Andes when the second production was ready and and we were in Colombia and, and um, uh, we worked with five women and they were amazing and um, we paid them and then I just put my hands into her hands and we made a really beautiful prayers and we all started crying just like how this beautiful project is so positive for many aspects and then coming back home the undies just making like prayers over them and this is simple action that you know, a lot of business people wouldn't understand, but I can bring that on into my into my practice and into the business. For me, it's it's gold because I truly think that I'm part of a bigger picture and I'm just um, being in service for this to happen. So I feel blessed and I'm very humble. Ah, oh, beautiful. I'm so grateful for you doing this work and just bringing all of this to our menstrual it's been such a great honor to have you on the call today um i would love for you to um just put a link on um, the thread so people can find you and i also just put this out there is that i'm really i'm really wanting to connect more and see if we can bring your work here to costa rica so we can distribute these beautiful underwears to the ceremonies and the ceremonies that we work here with so you sister and support you and the rising of the divine feminine so thank you so much for all your work such a pleasure having you here and I also just wanted to extend the offer to those I, I wasn't sure if we were on or not but I created this beautiful new ebook on um, Yoni themes it's all about um, how to do them at home why you want to do them um, when not to do them there's also a bunch of like herbs and what kind of plant medicines to use and I will also be meditation thread. If you wanted to receive that, I'll be happy to share with you. So Erica, anything else that you would like to share before we say goodbye? Uh, well, just uh, thank you to everybody for listening to that. And also let's, um, let's keep on praying over to our menstrual blood and, and uh, let's see what happens because we have no clue how how big of a shift this this can be in this world, and I cannot pretend to know, but I I have a feeling that it could be a big shift. So let's try, let's do it, and uh, yeah, thank you for being part of this. You're amazing. <laughs> beautiful, aho sister. Well, have a beautiful day, and to all of those you have watched like this invite your sisters to share into all of this knowledge in the the group, and let us expand. Let us share all of this freely because it is know this so that they can feel empowered with and spread that light out to the world have a beautiful day we'll see you next week Mwah.